Today, you'll be learning how to make your first dungeon crawl a TPW instead of a TPK. Get it? Like, total party win instead of total party kill? I know, I made that joke in the last video, which if you haven't seen the last video, check it out right here. I hope that worked out. Anyway, we're learning five tips to make your first dungeon crawl the best that it can be. Hi, I'm Jessie Brightly, and I'm a D&D newbie who loves helping my fellow noobs get some tips and tricks that makes their gameplay a little more fun and a little less focused on the stress of mechanics. Tip number one, gear. Gear up in town. Make sure that you ask everyone where the best gear is, like armor, spells, potions, all of the good stuff, even silly little things. Like personally, my favorite, I have like 10 pairs of manacles on me at all times, and that's just my jam. If you really like ball bearings and throwing them on the ground, that's your jam. Get everything that you can, and especially if you have a bag of holding, unlimited ability to hold stuff. Come on. Gear up. Tip number two. As you enter and complete the dungeon, make sure that you keep a good map. And this can be one person at the table is in charge of it. I'm personally not good at drawing maps, but as the DM describes what's happening, draw out a map and verify with the DM if that's what it looks like. Take note of anything that's in the surrounding, odd things on the wall, so that you know, okay, if this way was a dead end, maybe this other way that had this weird thing could be the next way. And having that map will help you just navigate it more quickly and navigate it more thoroughly. So keep a good map. Tip number three, you don't have to fight everything. I know it's tempting when you see all the little baddies on the map and you just want to fight them all and you want to loot them, but sometimes running the opposite way is more beneficial. So keep in mind that you don't have to fight everything. If it's a bunch of little guys and there's a burning bridge, maybe just run. Or if it's something that looks like a dignitary, maybe try talking to them first. I don't know worth a shot. But when you're in a dungeon, just think for a minute, I don't have to fight that thing. Tip number four for your first dungeon crawl, you don't have to win everything. And in fact, you probably won't. So going into it, knowing that is going to change your mindset about how things unfold. Failed perception checks, failed constitution checks, uh, failed landing of blows is going to happen. You didn't have to win everything. You didn't have to loot everything. It's going to unfold however it unfolds. And the more at peace with that you are, the more fun it will be. So keep in mind, you don't have to win everything. And tip number five for your first dungeon crawl is to stay calm. Yes, the risk is great, but so is the reward. And you, my friend, have prepared for this. So stay calm and adventure on. I am now streaming Neverwinter live on Twitch TV under Thundervex84. I'll leave a link in the notes below. So be sure to check that out. Again, it's Neverwinter Wednesdays, live at 7 p.m. Eastern Time under Thundervex84. Thank you so much for watching. I hope these tips were genuinely helpful for you. If you have something else you want to see, some tips and tricks on, comment below and let me know. If you're liking the videos, like, subscribe, that'd be awesome. I'm Jessie Brightly, D&D newbie. Cheers to adventure.